Hello everyone! Welcome to V NA TV! My name is Iwin. My name is Valentin. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to make your read sound much better just using a piece of paper. Wow! As saxophonists, read have always been one of the most important elements for producing a sound. We're always spending a lot of time searching the perfect read for recording, concerts, and for lessons. So we should know how to take care of them because they're never immortal. Now, let's show you our way to deal with new reads. And here we can take a new box of three and a half blue box Pandora for alto. <laughs> this way. Ta da! So let's open and test some new reads. New rates are usually unpredictable, therefore let's try the evenness of both sides. For this process, we don't need our instrument. We can just take our mouthpiece and the neck. I'll start with the right side and then left side. Now we can hear the difference between both sides. In our case, we have the same problem. The right side is much harder than the left side. So we should send down the right side. In order to make both sides even. There are so many products in the market that you can use for working on your reads. But here, in this video, we're going to show you the cheapest and the most efficient way. Wow. Now let's take out a piece of paper. When we take the new read out of the box, it's always slightly rough and our sound is not very pure. In order to eliminate the noise sound, we will send it up first of all in the button. Slightly pressing with our four fingers, or my fingers, it's exactly the same size of the reed. For mine, because I have smaller hand, it's mm -hmm. like spread you out spread evenly. It, yeah, evenly, mm -hmm. and press evenly. I use my left hand to hold the paper on the table and the right hand I use to push the reed into the paper and slightly send it down. Now we can already we can feel, feel a difference, mm -hmm. it's much smoother. What we just did to the back side of the reed, we can do the same process on the front side. By doing that, we just rip off a side of the paper, like this, so we can save paper. And we can put our index finger in the middle, so it creates a little area that we can use. Now we're gonna slowly and softly send down the front part of the reed. Make sure to not do it too hard, otherwise you will ruin the tip. Now both sides are smooth. Last time when we tried these reeds, the right side was much thicker, so we're gonna work on this side. We're gonna use the same piece of paper and send down just a little bit more of the right side of the reed. Let's try again. Let's try. I'm gonna just leave this read because it's new. It, it can change the condition. So I'll just put it in my box. So after I tried out my read, this read is actually more or less even now. Uh, and they're becoming a lot softer. Now I'm gonna put in this little lunchbox. I think it's originally for little fruits, like uh, berries and stuff. 
and I, I found this is a perfect size for reeds. The reason why we put them in the box is to prevent them being too dry. When the reeds are warped, the contact between the reed and the mouthpiece is not 100%, so it's not sealed very well. It's a lot harder to produce a good sound. When we just open a new box of reed, we have to rotate each new reed every five minutes for at least a week. Also, we need to avoid playing altissimo slap tones and growling in low register because during that time, those reeds are baby reeds. They're very flexible. We don't want to ruin them. Here I have an old reed, which I never used. And never used? Haven't used for over a while. Never used is not an old reed. Here I have an old reed, which I never <laughs> what? Which I never. Which I never played. That's not an old read. Two hours later. Here I have an old read which I haven't played for a long time. And I'm gonna try it now. <laughs> you can hear that the sound is pretty close. I cannot uh, blow into the saxophone very well, so I'm dealing with old reeds. I will just put it in the cup of water and just leave it for a couple minutes. While we are waiting for this old reed to soak in the water, I want to explain why we need to send down the new reed. As we open the box, every reed, they're kind of rough both sides. If we play on the rough reeds for a long time, our lip will be scratched, dryness, itchiness. In order to avoid those issues, we are going to make them smoother by sending it down with a paper because paper is very, very fine. It can really reduce the roughness of the reeds. The paper will never ruin the reed if you will follow the rules. First of all, make sure that the surface where do you put your paper is very flat and smooth. That's why a lot of us do our reed workshop on a piano, which is very flat and smooth. Second, we want to make sure that our hands are washed and very clean before we start doing the process. As wind players, hygiene is one of the most important things because we put our reeds, our mouthpiece directly in our mouth. So we want to make sure that they're clean before we do that. The third point, we have to emphasize again that the, all the motion that we're doing to send our reeds has to be very gentle. Even though the paper is very fine, but we still have to avoid the tip, very tip, very end of your reed because we don't want to ruin it. I think this reed is ready to be tested. Victory! We can hear the huge difference from the first time when I tried this reed. Now it's much easier to play. From this test, we can learn that when you have an old reed, you don't have to throw it away directly. You can try to soak half of the reed in the water. For about 5 to 10 minutes, and we will give a new life to this old reed. Another way to test a reed is to put it on a flat surface like this, and we test if the side is even. You can see that the side is going up like a little bolt like this. What we need to do is to press the both side and bend it down to make it flat again. Now it doesn't move. Also for testing the reed, you can put it on the mouthpiece with neck, close the bottom part with your hand and suck all of the air. Normally it makes a pop. If it doesn't make a pop, that means your reed is not completely flat, so it doesn't seal the mouthpiece right. Here I give you an example when the reed is not completely sealed. This reed doesn't pop because it's not completely flat. 
doesn't allow us to make a suction. In some situations, for example, if you're in a lesson or on stage, you do not have the time to sit down and work on your reads. We can also teach you a trick that can make your read work. We can simply adjust the read and the ligature in order to make the read perform instantly. For example, if the read is too hard, we move the read tip down slightly and move up the ligature slightly, like so. If the reed is too soft, we move the tip up slightly and move down the ligature slightly. You can experiment this method and find the best way to meet your needs. That's all for today's read workshop. We hope that this video is useful for you. Please let us know if you have your own method to deal with reads. And finally, we hope that every read is your perfect read. Thank you so much for watching this video. And we appreciate you guys to support VNA TV. <laughs> Make sure that you've seen our previous videos. And stay tuned for the next one tomorrow. See you guys! <laughs>